Hey folks, Wayne here. Today I wanted to uh, show you some alternative gear that you could use um, that's a lot more affordable uh, but that'll give you some uh, decent performance and good quality at a great price. Anyways, if this is something that interests you, stick around. Okay, so just for starters, uh, the wool blanket that you see out in front of you right now, um, I would... I, I don't really know if it, I don't think it has a tag on it. I bought this at a, a thrift store here in Canada called Value Village. And I paid $6.99. Now this is probably, I would say, no less than a 70-30 blend. Uh, possibly an 80-20 blend. But this was purchased for $6.99. Uh, and you have yourself a wool blanket uh, that you get all the benefits from. Uh, you know, if a spark or an ember flies from your fire on it, it won't necessarily burn a hole right away in it. Um, it's somewhat insulative uh, even when it's wet. Uh, so there's just for starters uh, a budget friendly option. Uh, and I have purchased much thicker blankets than these, uh, like a good heavy uh, wool weight and some of them have been 100% wool. And um, I purchased them for between $9.99 and $12.99 Canadian. So for starters, let's start off with twig stoves, stick stoves. Um, some of them are gasifier stoves, uh, some, of them, some of them aren't. Um, there's two routes you can go. Uh, these were purchased for, uh, I think this one was probably under $18. And this one was just shy of, of $20. Uh, these were bought off eBay. Um, so these are somewhat less expensive, but very, very functional uh, and good performers too. Now the, the other route you could do is you could build your own hobo stove, which would probably be anywhere from five to eight dollars cheaper uh, than, than what I paid for these. Um, boy, those trees are really cracking. Which are, would be less expensive than these, uh, but you, uh, you, you know, you, you just need basic tools to be able to build them. A uh, good, uh, good friend of mine, uh, Mark Young, who has a channel uh, on YouTube, has some great tutorials on uh, on how to build uh, uh, hobo stoves. Uh, so I definitely checked out uh, that out if that's if that's the route you'd like to go is make your own. Uh, but these two here are a very affordable uh, option to go for when uh, looking for uh, twig stoves. So for the, the boiling um, uh, test, what I'm gonna do, well not test, but I'm gonna be boiling some water to make uh, some either hot chocolate or some coffee out here. It's about minus eight degrees. Uh, I'm gonna use this one. And really the only reason why I'm using this one is because I forgot the ash plate for this one and I am on some some leaves not that I think there's you know everything's frozen but I mean still don't want to take the chance and this one here I do have uh, a base plate uh, for it so I put some uh, some spruce uh, twigs in there I put some um, birch bark so to light the fire in the stove I'm going to use this Condor bush lore and a Coglins uh, fire steel. There we go. Fire started. Okay, so now that we've got our fire established, let's make ourselves a coffee. This is a bottle that I got at Canadian Tire. It's Escort brand. It's a large mouth uh, stainless steel bottle. I got it for $8.99. And this is a GSI cup that I got for uh, just under $15. Now 
Now, let the stove do its work. There. Just get some branches ready. Feed her in. Okay, so we got a pretty good fire uh, going here. Uh, so yeah, so an $8.99 stainless steel bottle, uh, under $15 for a GSI stainless steel mug. Under $4 uh, Coglin's uh, fire steel. And uh, Condor Bushlor. It's been hailed as a great knife by some. Others have said it's a, uh, it's a complete piece of crap. I've had this knife for five years now. Uh, I have never rolled the edge. I've never had any issues with the edge. Uh, yes, it does go dull uh, a little quicker, uh, but when I get home or if I am camping, every night I strop it and it comes back to uh, a razor sharp edge. So, uh, you know, I really can't really say enough about this. This is a very comfortable handle. Uh, it's high carbon steel, 1075 high carbon steel. I think it's a great knife uh, to start or even to have as, as your main knife. Like I said, I've never had any issues with this knife. But, uh, and this here, I purchased it probably, I'm going to take a wild guess and say it was around $60. I don't know what they go for today. They might go for roughly around the same thing. They might go a little more. But it's not your only alternative. So you've got a knife that's around, let's say, the $60 mark in a Condor Bushler. You've also got a $20 knife, which is um, a Mora Companion that I just whittled and put my own uh, scales on it. I epoxied it in there, and uh, I've had this for, for several years uh, with no issues, um, you know. And you can even go to the extremely cheap and I should say the extremely inexpensive. And this is a knife that I purchased years back made by Coleman. It's just 440 stainless steel. Uh, there's, you know, no bells or whistles about it. It has a, a sharp 90 degree spine and I mean, you know, for general uh, camp tasks, uh, you know, this thing will feather Uh, you can do some light batoning with it. This is a fourteen, a fourteen dollar and ninety nine cents uh, knife. It even at the handle has its own little ferrocerium rod. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count my life on it, but it throws sparks. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of options. You can go from the unbelievably inexpensive to inexpensive with carbon steel, uh, better quality materials. Or you can go with the Condor Bushlor, uh, put a Ranger band around there, and uh, you've got a place put your uh, your ferrocerium rod. And like I said, this is Coughlin's ferrocerium rod. It lit that, no problem. So our coffee's nearing the boil. Um, the point I'm trying to make here is that I think a lot of us, you know, um, on YouTube, we sometimes, you know, do reviews. Uh, in my case, I don't get any products for free. Any product you see me review is a product that I purchased. And, uh, but I think we see a lot of YouTubers and uh, we seem to, to forget that very often, uh, and there's nothing wrong with this, very often these are products that, that they are given 
uh, in order to do a review. Now, if they want to endorse it, that's up to them. Uh, but so they're not necessarily, what I'm trying to say is they're not paying for it. So it doesn't make the, the review uh, any lesser, uh, but it sure does make for the fact that they don't have to go out and spend uh, their money on it. <clears throat> so um, what I'm trying to, to say here is that for, for a fraction of the price uh, on certain products, stainless steel bottles, uh, cooking uh, kits, cooking stoves, knives. There are a bunch, and I mean a bunch, of options for people that A, don't have the money right now to go out and purchase and spend, uh, you know, uh, quite a bit of money uh, on, on anything, uh, or B, it's something that you're just trying out that you're not quite sure yet if this is something that you're gonna you know that, that you're gonna be doing on a regular basis so you want to try to keep the cost as low as possible until you start doing it and you find out yeah this is something I really like so um, you know everything I have here uh, right down to the rucksack uh, this rucksack uh, is is a canvas uh, surplus Italian uh, Alpini rucksack. I paid $25 for this rucksack. I've had it for 10, 11 years. Um, what can I say? It's it's a great pack for for uh, you know short overnighters or a day pack. Um, is it the best pack in the world? No, it's not the best pack in the world. But it's a pack that's done me well for for years. Uh, also, you know. Even sometimes, like you know, like your knives, your axes, uh, your rucksacks, those are the the the, the pieces of gear that are going to run that can run you into some serious money. But for example, this is an axe that up until uh, the time that I traded for uh, the Grandsfors Brooks, this was the axe that I used. <clears throat> this is a no-name axe that was purchased at the co-op. I don't know if there's any such thing in the States, but here in Canada we have co-op stores. And it's like a, you know, kind of like a general uh, hardware store and there's also a lot of stuff for animal feed and, and that sort of thing. I picked up this axe, new, for $29.99. I don't know what kind of steel it is. I did have to do some work. Uh, the cheeks were very, very rounded. I filed those down to give it a much more uh, narrow profile. The other thing I did is I wanted a kind of a look like a, like a Gransfors Brook. Uh, the head here, as you can see it coming out on the bottom, it did the same thing on the top. I just took a grinder and I cut the excess metal off, which gave it this profile of an axe. It's a little longer than the Gransfors Brook. This is probably a 20, 20 and a half inch axe. Um, I believe the handle, I don't think the handle is hickory, I think it's ash, <clears throat> but this axe has served me extremely well. Now it's not as thin as a, of a profile as the, the Gransfors Brooks, uh, so it won't, uh, it maybe doesn't dig in as deep, uh, you know, but still, this is still a great axe uh, that I've used on, on, on canoe trips, camping trips, uh, you name it, I've used it, $29.99. Again, I don't know the steel, uh, but I can say that from using it, that it doesn't seem, I've, I've never done any damage to the, uh, to the edge at all. It doesn't seem to, um, uh, to lose its edge. Uh, it is a little harder to, uh, to sharpen. Uh, I really have to, to uh, take this to the strop and really work on it, but it will come back to a real sharp, uh, sharp edge. So there you have it, you know. I mean, you've got most of the gear that uh, you see people using on a day-to-day -day basis without the brand names. They're still decent quality, very functional, and will get you through no problem whatsoever. So I'm uh, really starting to get thirsty for some hot chocolate here. Water's come to a boil. I'm going to let that stove burn out. And... It's a hot chocolate day today.
I hear you. Now, oh, where's my stick? Stick. Not bad. Ooh, that feels good. So, to go on with with even more options, uh, let's say clothing. You want to start, uh, you know, getting into uh, to woolen garments. Uh, you know, but you're on a budget. Uh, but you still want to try to get as much of the the, um, the positive properties uh, that wool has to offer. This shirt, jacket, whatever you want to call it, uh, army surplus. It's a. It wasn't purchased at the army surplus. It was actually purchased at a thrift store, and I got this um, uh, wool jacket for $9.99. Uh, it's fairly warm. Uh, today it's minus 8 out. Uh, all I have is a very thin uh, base layer and uh, an 80-20 uh, 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 wool uh, sweater underneath and this jacket on top and I'm perfectly warm and I'm not moving. I'm not, you know, I'm just standing here, uh, sitting here uh, doing this video and uh, the weather is, you know, I, I'm not chilled, I'm not anything. So, $9.99 for a woolen uh, military surplus uh, jacket, wool jacket. The pants, these are kind of a windproof-ish uh, pant. They're made by BC Clothing. Uh, again, another purchase at a thrift store for uh, $6.99. Uh, they have the cargo pockets. Uh, they're very comfortable. Uh, you know, these are not Fjall Raven uh, pants, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not trying to say that any of this gear uh, can replace any of the big brands. I'm just saying that all of this gear is extremely functional and you can get by with no problems by, by using any of these. So yeah, $6.99. Uh, gators. Picked up these gators on Amazon. Uh, I think I paid $12.99 for them. They've served me well. They're great. They keep my pants dry if I am in, in snow or walking through wet grass or, or anything like that. They will keep my pants. they got a clip that hooks onto the bo bottom lace of your boot. The boots. Vask. Um, these boots probably sell for over $200. Garage sale. A buck. The sole was hardly even worn when, uh, when I got these. Um, Probably something that somebody got that didn't fit or whatever got thrown in the uh, got thrown in the closet and never worn. The only thing I did sprayed a little bit of Lysol inside of them, took the uh, the uh, the inner liner that's uh, uh, on the bottom of the boot, exchanged it for a new one, and bingo, great pair of uh, of, of hiking boots. You know, uh, and you can go on and on and on and on and on. Uh, for example. You know, folding saws. This here is a folding saw that comes from um, Walmart, $9.99. Locking blade, pretty aggressive tooth pattern, real comfortable, uh, comfortable grip. Anything around here? Hang on. piece of wood about an inch in diameter something that you would used for for firewood uh, to to make a, not on a longer basis but to cut for uh, for a tripod your general camp tasks that you do 
with a folding saw. Bingo. You know, nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Cheaper than a Silky, cheaper than a Baco Laplander, cheaper than a Corona, cheaper than most of the saws that you will see uh, on, uh, on YouTube channels. Totally functional, cuts, you know, great. Um, what else? First aid kits for small day outings. You don't need anything elaborate. Coglins. You can add uh, things into it. There's enough room in here to act, uh, add extra bandages, extra gauze. Uh, if you want to bring Tylenol, stomach medication, uh, other things, you can throw it in there. No problem. For uh, for uh, short hikes, this is really all you need. Chart. You can go out and spend eighty to hundred dollars and even more. For, uh, for a tarp, for uh, you know, like I, I have a DD tarp, great tarp, but you're going to pay for it. This is the uh, UST Base 1.0 tarp. Uh, I believe this is a, a 5x7 or it's a 6x9. I'm not, I'm not quite sure right now. Super lightweight uh, tarp, way lighter weight than, uh, than the DD tarp or uh, the one Tigris tarp that I have. Super lightweight, uh, throws in a bag. It's got a reflective uh, silver lining on side to, to reflect heat. It actually even turns into a tent, which it has a, a zipper on the bottom side, which will make an A-frame tent with, a, with a, a floor to protect you from moisture or dampness or uh, anything else. Uh, $34.99, you know? And I think you can probably get these even cheaper. So again, more gear that you don't necessarily have to break the bank in order to come out here and enjoy yourself. And some gear that is just do it yourself, make it yourself. These little leather pouches that uh, I believe the the, uh, the YouTuber who, who made these extremely popular, MCQ Bushcraft, fantastic channel, who brought these into light. Um, all this is was a, um, um, a sofa that was no longer being used, was being thrown out. I took all the cushions off it and I kept the leather from them, took the stuffing out from inside, kept the leather. I made myself uh, an array of pouches. These things, pouches you see people wear on their sides. This again, thrift store, uh, four ninety nine. It's a good quality leather. It's a perfect size. It's got a lot of little locking clip here to keep your things secure inside. All I did was attach two leather straps to it, and again, you know, good solid leather belt, dollar ninety nine. Thrift stop, uh, thrift store. Uh, sheaths. Or masks for your uh, your axe. Piece of leather from uh, scrap leather from uh, from Michaels, uh, or for ta from Tandy Leathers. Pick up a whole bag for probably under six dollars. There's the, the sheath to protect the axe. Same thing with the collar protectors. Just leftover pieces of leather, buying scraps. I'm sure you get the gist of this. You don't need to spend a lot of money in order to be able to come out here and enjoy yourself. Um, you know, like I said, you'll see a lot of YouTubers, and I'm guilty of this as well, come out with, you know, Grants Force Brooks, uh, custom knives, woolen anoraks, uh, you know, Gaia Design uh, stainless steel bottles, uh, you know, etc., 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 etc. And um, I really want to try to drive it home that you don't need to spend all that kind of money in order to start off in bushcraft or the outdoors. Uh, 
See if you like it. Spend your money wisely. Thrift store is absolutely the way to go. Uh, it's a hit and miss. You might not always find something. Uh, but sooner or later, you'll come across a lot of the stuff that you're looking for. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, be good to Mother Earth.